Hello guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to day 20 of 100 days 100 concepts and today we are going to discuss about nature of fluid flow. So basically we all know this is one of the important part of uh, fluid dynamics or you know transport phenomena whatever you want to call. So basically what is this nature of fluid flow, uh, you know how can we approach this nature of fluid flow so we have different theories we have different you know laws which explain this but basically what everybody try to do is is try to study about the velocity and the pressure okay so velocity of course as a function of position and time similarly pressure as a function of position and time Okay, so this is what many people usually do okay so oh, this is what location and time so how my velocity is changing or you know adapting in my system with respect to location and with respect to time okay so as i already said many theories came up many theories came up but one guy in 1883 one famous guy Osborne Reynolds okay he did a marvelous experiment to explain the nature of the fluid flow so what he did he just took a pipe okay he took a pipe and he first allowed water to go in okay this is a stream of water and then he also sent a parallel flow of color okay or we call colored dye right so uh, he tried to study this particular thing how the colored dye and the water flow is varying is what he studied okay from that he got two different types of flows so which are basically laminar flow and the turbulent flow now what are these so basically laminar flow is when okay i'll just take this off here yeah so laminar flow is basically when the same uh, paths are followed so the same parallel paths are followed okay which we usually call as streamlines okay which we usually call as streamlines that means this usually happens at low velocities Okay, low velocities of the fluids usually this is observed so at low velocities you can see that the dye colored dye is following the same parallel path that means if i have my water like this my colored dye is also parallel to that thing okay something like this similarly the other part is what turbulent so turbulent flow is usually taking place at high velocities okay it is taking place at high velocities and of course the flow should not be parallel anymore okay that means let's say my water is flowing in this particular manner and what is happening to my colored dye it is flowing in some some random manner something like this so here the water uh, you know even if it is uh, going in a parallel path the colored dye changed its parallel path respect with respect to the water okay so because of this you will be observing that there is mixing of color plus water that means mixing of fluids is usually observed okay in turbulent flow right so these are the two important types which this guy reynolds observed okay now what he did he tried to study it further so what he tried to study he tried to take different fluids of different physical properties okay of course he wanted to study how these physical properties are affecting my fluid flow nature of the fluid flow okay so what are those obviously uh, when we are talking about fluids we usually talk about density and viscosity 
ओके सो दिस आर द टू इंपॉर्टेंट फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एनी फ्लूड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस वी ऑल्सो ही ऑल्सो ट्राई टू यू नो एक्सपेरिमेंट बाई चेंजिंग द डायमीटर ऑफ द पाइप ओके सो ही वॉन्ट्स टू सी वेदर अपार्ट फ्रॉम द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज आर देर एनी अदर यू नो एंटिटीज विच आर एफेक्टिंग माई नेचर सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर मैनर ही टुक डायमीटर ऑफ पाइप एंड ऑल्सो वेलासिटी विथ विच the fluid flow is taking place so we have got how many we have got four different parameters which he varied what are those number 1 is density which is rho number 2 is viscosity which is mu number 3 is the diameter of the pipe which we used for the experiment or the final one is the velocity which is v so these are the four different parameters which he tried to study and he came to a conclusion by saying all these four will affect my nature of the fluid flow using this particular parameter so rho v d by mu is the parameter which we he has obtained so this parameter is essential okay to explain whether the flow is laminar flow or a turbulent flow right so this parameter we famously called as reynolds number okay reynolds number so how he got this so usually he took the ratio of the inertial forces divided by the viscous forces so reynolds number or this parameter came to us as a ratio of inertial forces to the viscous forces okay so rho v d by mu is my reynolds number and it is usually denoted by n r e and how this is affecting my flow he told that n r e if it is less than 2100 then my flow is laminar whereas if it is greater than 2100 of course uh, you also have something called as transition so usually between 2100 and 4000 there is a uh, transition zone where you usually find mix of both laminar and turbulent okay so usually this is the conclusion that he made that this parameter reynolds number if it is less than 2100 it is pure laminar flow or it is greater than 4000 it is pure turbulent flow okay this is what he studied right one more thing which we uh, also got from this is how the velocity is changing so of course as i said the nature of the fluid flow is what is study of velocity or study of pressure with respect to the location and the time right so in laminar flow what is observed we observed that the velocity is constant okay velocity of the fluid is constant throughout the pipe whereas when you talk about turbulent flow here in turbulent flow the velocity fluctuates with time okay so in a given pipe or in a given position the velocity is fluctuating with respect to time okay so we can graphically represent the same thing so let me take this particular thing between v yeah now it's looking straight perfect so well, let's plot velocity versus time okay so here if we are talking about laminar flow my velocity will be constant okay this is for a laminar flow but when we are talking about a turbulent flow my velocity will be varying something like this okay some random value okay so here if you average it this something like this will be your v average okay so this is v average 
okay whereas this is my fluctuation okay so here uh, my velocity component of turbulent flow can be seen as two components one is v average which is average velocity usually it is written as v bar and the actual velocity okay this is the actual velocity v so usually the deviation this is uh, for example at a particular time let's say uh, i'm talking about this particular time what is the deviation this is the deviation okay this is the deviation which is v minus v bar okay so these are some important concepts of how uh, the nature of the fluid flow can be studied with respect to the velocity parts so i think uh, with this you understood some basic ideas about laminar and turbulent flow with the help of reynolds number so if you like this video please hit the like button and also share with all the gate metallurgy aspirants so that they will find these videos very much beneficial and also do visit our website everythingmetallurgy.com to go check out our most affordable test series for gate metallurgy also we provide full guidance in the form of video courses live classes etc so please go and check everythingmetallurgy.com if you are interested for that thank you guys meet you tomorrow with one more interesting concept thank you